Question 21A. Juma bought a house four years ago for 2.5 million Kenya shillings. The value of the house rose steadily over four years to its current value of 3.7 million Kenya shillings. Calculate correct two decimal places the annual rate of appreciation in the value of the house. Part B. At the time Juma bought the house in 21A, Tony also bought a car valued at 5.1 million Kenya shillings. The value of the car depreciated steadily at the rate of 2% every four months. Determine correctly to the nearest shilling the current value of the car. Then there is the last part. Part C. The house bought in 21A continued to appreciate in value at the same rate while the car bought in 21B continued to depreciate in value at the same rate. Determine the number of years from the time of purchase it would take for the value of the house and that of the car to be equal. Give the answer correct to one decimal place. So that is the question. Now let's go to the first part. Now the first part uh, you're supposed to calculate correct two decimal places the annual rate of appreciation of the car uh, of the house. So part A you're supposed to calculate correct two decimal places the annual rate of appreciation in the value of the house. Now to calculate uh, appreciation we normally use a formula and I'm going to write it here. Uh, the formula that you use is um, this one appreciation is given by the initial amount which is the principal 1 plus r or rate of 100 raised to power n so that is the formula for calculating appreciation where p is the initial amount before appreciation rate is given in percentage rate of appreciation then n is the period of appreciation so a is the amount after appreciation so in this case um, this was bought four years ago so therefore the period n is equals to four n is equals to four then uh, at 2.5 million so this was p so p is 2.5 million shillings so that is uh, p then um, the current value right now after this after appreciation so a that is the amount will be 3.7 million so we need to substitute this and uh, we'll be able to calculate the rate of appreciation <coughs> so the, the initial amount before appreciation it was bought at 2.5 million so uh, 2.5 2.5 million then one plus rate of 100 then uh, the period is 4 and uh, the final amount was 3.7 million so that is uh, what you're going to do to get the rate so you need to calculate the rate so how do we get rid of everything to from the left hand side to remain with r so you're calculating for these r so the most important thing was to identify uh, what was a which is the final amount after appreciation then before appreciation p is here then you're calculating the period is for so you're calculating r so you start by dividing both sides by 2.5 million so this is what you're going to get when you divide both sides so you divide both sides by 2.5 million and uh, we will get this one as one plus rate of um let me read it correctly here so one plus r over 100 so this is what you're going to be left with when we divide this side by 2.5 million and then 3.7 million divided by 2.5 million like that so this will give one plus r over 100 is to power 4 is equals to when you divide um, 3.7 million with 2.5 million you will get uh, 
So to get rid of these um, power four, because we want to get rid of these on the left hand side, we get the fourth root of both sides. When you get the fourth root of the left hand side, we remain with one plus r over 100 is equals to we get the fourth root of um, the fourth root of 1.48. So this will give a one plus r over 100 is equals to the fourth root of 1.48 will be 1.1029. Seven four three right there. So taking one to the right hand side, you get R over one hundred is equals to zero point one zero two nine seven four three. So at that stage, you multiply. You want to remain with R. You multiply both sides by a hundred. When you multiply this by hundred, you remain with R is equals to this will give 10 point. You're going to give it to correct to two decimal places. This will be 10.30%. Uh, and that is the annual rate of precision. That is all supposed to work out part A. So let us go to part B. So the time Juma bought the house in 21A, uh, the time is uh, four, that is four years ago. Tony also bought a car valued at 5.1 million Kenyan shillings. The value of the car depreciated steadily at the rate of 2% every four months. Just every four months. Uh, determine the correct to the nearest shilling, the current value of the car. So this part uh, is about uh, depreciation. We use, uh, this is the formula for depreciation. Uh, formula for depreciation given by P, then 1 minus R over 100 N. So it's just the same with um, precision. The only difference is the negative for depreciation. We subtract instead of adding. So we need to identify again um, what is P, what is A, and uh, you're required to find the current value. So what you're required to get in this question is A, that is uh, after. Because it was bought at the same time, Jimbo bought the house, uh, that is four years ago. Um, so you're supposed to find it the current value that is after uh, this amount after depreciation. So 5.1 um, million will be the principal, that is of 5.1 million. So this will be the principal. Then 1 minus, the rate is given 2%. 2%. Then why we need to be very keen is uh, the period. That is after every 4 months. Is after every 4 months. So, uh, if n is the number of years, in one year, it means it was depreciating 3 times. So, after every 4 months, so in one year, that will be 3 times. So, what about for this period when it was bought? The same time, remember? The same time Juma bought the house, Tony bought the car that time. So that is four years ago. So that is um, required to get the depreciation after four years. After four years. And uh, the depreciation is taking place after every four months. So in one year, there are how many periods of depreciation? There are three. So there are three then times four years. So those are 12 periods. So N will be 12. That is very important to know. So from here, just need to work out. So 5.1 million, then multiply. This is a one minus two over 100. This will be 0 0.98, then by 12. So just use a calculator to do this. Use a calculator for this. So five, Point one million uh, multiply by zero point nine eight raised to power twelve. So this will give uh, exactly this okay four million zero fifty five point two nine. So this is a uh, four million 
uh, 2055 so correct to but give this one correct to the nearest shilling it will be four zero zero two zero five five so that is the solution the nearest shilling so the last part uh, the house bought in 21a continue to appreciate the value in value at the same rate while the car bought in 21b continue to depreciate in the value at the same time and the same rate determine the number of years from there so the question is the number of years from the time of purchase that is four years ago to take for the value of the house and that of the car to be equal if the answer correct to one decimal place so the appreciation take place in part a uh, and uh, depreciation taking part in in part b we require to give uh, after how long with the amount be equal with the value of the house bought in 21a and the value of the car that is depreciating how long with the the value be equal so the value from the first uh, part that is 21a uh, this is uh, the expression for the value after a number of years the only thing you're going to replace is for so 200 and this is a 2.5 million that is a, this is a 2.5 million for the house that is for the house it is a 2.5 million and one plus this one is appreciating we got um, the rate we got the rate as 10.3 10.3 got that one is 10.3 100 then what you don't know is the number of years so in this case we shall do something here we shall let the number of years number of years the amount of um, or the value of the house and the value of the car will be the same to be n years so let the number of years of which the two values will be equal be n years n years so here we are going to indicate n so for the house the value after a number of years appreciating for a number of years n this is the value then for the car depreciating the car depreciating we have it here we are going to use this one this, this is um, exactly it is here is here so you're going to use a simplified one this one so five this 5.1 so we're going to use this one this here so five ton million zero point nine eight and uh now the, when it comes to the period you need to be very careful remember uh for the car it is depreciating after every four months and here we've let n to be the number of years the number of years so remember we said that the car will be depreciating three times in one year three times in one year so what about in n number of years it will be three times n which will be three n so you need to be very careful there so it's supposed to be three n because one year it is depreciating after every four months that is in one year three times so if n years will be three times this will be the period so now we have um, Expression. This audio is supposed now to work out. Uh, we need to work out now this one. And uh, this equation, uh, we are looking for n, and n will be the number of years. So I will start by bringing the n to the same side, or uh, n to the same side. And uh, I will simplify this one like this. Eh? So this one, the left hand side will be 200, and this is uh, 2.5 million I buy this will be 1.103 raised to the n like that so is equals to 
is equals to 5.1 million 0.983 n so i'll divide both sides by we'll bring the ends together so i'll divide both sides by 0 0.98 so 1.0 so 1 1.0 1 1.1 raised to power n divide by 0 0.983 n uh, is equals to so I'm uh, dividing both sides by 0 0.983 n then at the same time I divide both sides by 2.5 million so this side I'll have uh, that so this one will give uh, working out these uh, you can simplify the left hand side this is the same as 1.103 and then 0 0.9 we can write this one be careful here 0 0.98 raised to 3 you can write it like this ring then we'll multiply by n is equals to when you divide this 5.1 million divided by 2.5 million this will give 2.04 Zero four like that. So I'll see the way I've written this so that I can write it is one like this one point one zero three raised to uh, and just put everything like this. Then I raise everything to power n zero point nine eight raised to power three. So look at what I've done. So everything raised to the same power n. So 1.103 divided by 0 0.98 cubed, everything raised to power. And this is the same. Be careful, just look at that. And this is uh, 2.04. Uh, to solve this one, you have to introduce the logs. So I'm going to introduce the logs, both sides. So log of 1.103 divided by 0 0.98 cubed raised to power n is equals to log 2.04 so this will be the same as n log 1.103 divided by 0 0.98 cubed is equals to log 2.04 like that and um, when you divide this you get uh, this one to be n log 1.103 divided by 0 0.98 cubed this will give uh, 1.172 plus 2 log 2.04 so just divided this in order to get this so on to get n so n is equals to divide both sides by log 1.172 so get log 2.04 divided by log 1.172 and uh, when you divide these you work out this is your calculator you get uh, 4.4 4 4.492 4 which because you're required to give it to correct one decimal place it will be 4.5 yes 4.5 years and that is uh, simply how you're required to work out that question